The second movie was in a way better and in a way worse. Like, um, the second movie, it's... If you watch the first movie, you're going to be scared of this, this one. But what's different about it is that its style is a little different. Like, instead of just, like, a big camera, they have, like, a bunch of cameras around the house. And also, it doesn't feel as realistic as the first movie. Like, the first movie, you get a kind of sense that, like, it's very real, that these people's reactions are real. But here, they kind of stem off the typical horror reaction where it's unrealistic where um example would be there a little the girl Allie when she hears something downstairs she like she opens the door and then she goes downstairs and she's now like scared but you know she's scared but then you know she, it doesn't feel natural like unnatural bravery that kind of thing where a main character can go to a dark room and keep going into it even though it's kind of creepy like that unnatural bravery and sometimes they would just like stand there like what is that that kind of thing it doesn't feel as real as the first one the reactions and but everything else it's like the first movie but they added a few things that's all I'm trying to say so in a way it can only improve but also it sort of falls back with that kind of stuff and um, what, am I, what am I trying to say what else about this film? Um, the camera, the camera is fine. I mean, it's not. It near the end is where it gets really shaky, but the camera's fine for the most part. And the gimmicks are more jump jump scares than they are like. The first movie relied on like ambience, like the, the, the ambience is still in this movie, but there's a lot more jump scares than in the first movie. And it's this intensity is still there, but I don't know, it, it just doesn't feel the same. Like they tried to do the same thing, but they also tried to put in new things at the same time, so it's like they were a little confused as to what they were trying to aim for. But Whatever, but the final product, it's still fine. I don't know, I'm, I'm a little mixed on it. I think it's about the same. Like, some ways it's better, some ways it's worse, so... I guess it balances out. Um... But yeah, I mean, like... This movie's still scary. I mean, like... It still freaked me out. And I'm... I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that. But... The thing that bothered me was, what was that thing that bothered me? Oh, how they tried to connect it to the first movie. I honestly thought that this was just going to be a standalone movie, but apparently it's, it's a prequel and a sequel to the first movie where like Katie comes back and I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Like the first movie was made on like a low budget and they didn't I don't think they expected to make a sequel and then here they are they made a sequel but then they're I guess what they were thinking of was how they were gonna relate it back to the first movie which you know it's kind of amazing they, they came up with something like this like you know it's not that amazing but I, I think it should have just been a standalone because if you because if you try to connect it to the first movie it loses some of the realism in it like if that makes sense like it's more following the story than it is following archive footage like archive footage doesn't have a story if that makes sense like I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm really making sense but when it tries to follow like a linear story or like when they're trying to connect it together it loses some of the realism that's what I'm trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to get at um, but bottom line, Paranormal Activity 2, it's still scary, but it has flaws, but it's still passable. That's what I'm trying to get at. And, yeah, that's about it. Happy Halloween.